All right, now weather information is something which has become very essential for us almost every day. Before we head out for work, we do check the weather conditions, whether it's going to rain or not, the current temperature, etc., so that we are well prepared before we head out. And this information is easily available on the weather application on the phone. Now, with every iteration of One UI, Samsung enhances the weather application and adds new features for a better experience, and that's what they did this time as well with the all new One UI 6.0. So in this this video let me just quickly take you through what has really changed here compared to the weather app on the previous iteration of one ui now here on the right hand side i got the updated weather app on one ui 6.0 on the galaxy s23 ultra this is the s22 ultra with the previous iteration of one ui the one ui 5.1 and the weather app is also the previous iteration now let me just press and hold on this let's go to widgets now samsung has added a brand new widget on the weather application now let me tap on weather here you can see we had four widgets in the previous iteration and now we have got five of them. Four widgets are same as what we had before and here is the new one weather inside. Let me press and hold on this. I will add it to the home screen. Let's just go to the home screen here. Now here you can see we are going to get a brief about today's weather. It says rain possible and it also shows the percentage of precipitation 52% and it is showing the weather information on the top. So basically this widget provides some additional information on today's weather condition. That is something to note here. Now if I press and hold on this, we do not have an option to expand this widget for some reason. Maybe this is still on beta so we don't have it or this widget doesn't have this expansion expansion option at all. I'm not very sure. Let's wait and see in the next iterations or maybe in the next updates for the weather application. And maybe Samsung can add some additional information right here on this widget. And uh, if we could expand it to see all the information, that would be perfect. Now let's open the weather application. As you can see, the layout looks more or less the same, uh, but for some reason, the animations are different here. And when I scroll down, you can see it turns into dark mode in the previous iteration, but here it is not turning into dark mode. It is the same. You can see today's weather information is depicted in the same manner as the previous version. Then we have got this particular tab here. It says rain coming, rain possible this afternoon, 52%. Whereas here, we don't see the same detailed information. It just says rain coming, rain possible this afternoon. Whereas here, we have got the percentage also mentioned here. Let me just uh, slide towards the right. You can see it says protect your skin. UV will be extreme. Limit sun exposure if possible. Whereas on the newer version, we also have uh, the UV indicator bar here, as you can see. Now let me swipe towards the right. Now here again, you can see we have got this graphical representation of the sunset, whereas in the previous version, we did not have it. So there are some minor changes. The information displayed here are much more detailed and it has definitely improved. Now let's go down. You can see uh, this particular uh, section looks much bigger compared to the previous version. And then we have got all the information, UV index, humidity, wind, sunrise and sunset. Whereas here it says AQI level is good. And then we have got uh, UV index, humidity, wind, and we also have dew point and visibility which are added here and we have got this pressure information as well. So there are a few more information here. We just had four of them here. We have got six of them right now. UV index, wind, pressure, visibility, dew point, and humidity. After this comes the sunset and sunrise uh, representation here. And then we have got moonset and moonrise representation as well. We've got this cool looking graphic here for the uh, moonset and moonrise. And for the sunset and sunrise, we have got this graphical representation here. Then comes the radar and maps. As you can see, we have got this maps. We can tap on this to go to the uh, map view. This will take us to the weather.com where we can select the uh, city to check the weather and the uh, rest of the information for that particular area. And after this, we have got these videos and uh, uh, today's stories, etc. And at the bottom, we have got uh, these information, Poland, AQI running, driving difficulty, etc. All these are shown right here at the bottom. So definitely there are some good improvements on the brand new weather application, the way it shows the information, uh, the graphical representations, the uh, images. All in all, they look pretty good. And this brand new widget also makes sense because now we can get quick access to this information right here on the home. And I really wish Samsung adds some more information right here 
and make a widget which can be uh, expanded on the home screen. This is the all new weather app for you guys. Let me know what do you think. Did you really like the changes that we have got on this all new update or not? Drop a comment. And if you missed all my previous videos about the One UI, the all new features, the minor as well as the major features, uh, you can go ahead and check out the channel to watch those content. Uh, I have made some detailed videos about all those things which have changed on One UI 6.0 and all the new features have been discussed. So don't miss those videos. There are loads of contents to cover on One UI 6.0. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.